Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Well, we just completed our Halloween showcase watches, but I felt this one was special enough, even though it could have fit into that category. The Blancpain 50 Fathom Speed Command Flyback Chronograph deserves a feature in its own right. Now, you know the 50 Fathoms, the legendary prototype of the modern dive watch, actually released in 1953. It slightly predated the later and highly influential Rolex Submariner, and it established the template for the modern dive watch. Now, over the years, just as the Submariner has sort of become the icon, the uh, quintessential Rolex of the crown brand, the 50 Fathoms has become Blancpain's standard bearer and corporate icon. Now, the 50 Fathoms has probably spawned more derivatives than the Submariner, and the chronograph versions are particularly intriguing because Blancpain has partnered with Frédéric Piguet through the years to create many of their original movements, so you've always had a high horology supplier of fine watchmaking content that Rolex, as a tool watch, a rugged watch, a durable watch, couldn't really boast. Now, the Blancpains are more than just iconic watches. The 50 Fathoms today, from 2007 to the present, of which this Speed Command is one, are finished to a degree more characteristic of Vacheron, or Audemars Piguet than a Rolex. So in addition to an icon here, you're getting a lot of high-end watchmaking content. And in addition to that, the Speed Command gives you a number of unique features that are distinctive and special in their own right. Now, let's just talk about what you get with the basic 50 Fathoms. This is a 45 millimeter watch, stainless steel underneath, diamond-like carbon coated, very durable on the outside. This is not a standard PVD watch. It doesn't scratch nearly as easily. This one is held up remarkably well, and it actually presents as new. You're getting the distinctive and unique 50 Fathoms sapphire-coated bezel. Now, you can see that it's got a gleam to it that you don't get with traditional PVD bezels like the older Submariners, and you don't even get with newer carbon bezels. Sapphire has a look all of its own. It's a lens. It bends light. And this one, which is actually slightly curved, is an incredibly complex part to machine. And when you combine it with the slightly domed sapphire on the primary dial crystal of the 50 Fathoms, it creates an interesting articulation and play of light that is the signature of the 2007 to present 50 Fathoms. Beautiful, upscale, it acts as a magnifier, not just for the indexes and the minute markers on the bezel, but also as a shield for the loom. And that's something you get with a sapphire bezel that you can't get with ceramic. The ability to loom the dial, loom the bezel, and then cover it so that it's shielded. Anything that's on ceramic or PVD is exposed. You can't put loom on that. This glows like a torch from bezel edge to bezel edge and top to bottom at night. Very gorgeous. Again, unique to the 50 Fathoms. The 50 Fathoms is water resistant to 300 meters. This chronograph example is no exception, so you still get all of that dive watch functionality. Now, let's talk a little bit about what makes the chronograph and the Speed Command Chronograph Edition in particular special. As you can see, right off the bat, this doesn't look like a standard 50 Fathoms chronograph. You have unique color key, diamond-like coated case, black strap with an orange contrasting stitch. You have an orange font on the dial. In unique font styles, if you look at the Arabic numerals, they're actually written differently than they are on a standard 50 Fathoms chronograph. The Luminova on the hands is actually a special red Luminova used exclusively for this edition. And if I can try to get a little bit closer, you can see that the dial itself is carbon fiber. So the use of carbon fiber, sapphire, diamond-like carbon in this watch is designed to evoke motorsports, of course. And to that end, there is a functional tachometer scale that can be used to time a moving object over a standing kilometer. So if you want to gauge the speed of a race car, between two known points on a track, this watch is good for it. A little bit sportier in orientation than even the standard 50 Fathoms chronograph. The Speed Command is a watch for an auto fan, a race fan, or anyone who just prefers a little bit of a more colorful watch, a more aggressive style. I would say that if the standard 50 Fathoms is very smooth, polished, elegant, maybe a little bit feminine in its appeal, this one's a bit more masculine. A little bit more like a fist to the perfectly manicured hand of the standard 50 Fathoms. Now, inside you're getting the Frederic Piguet Caliber 185. It is a flyback chronograph, and it's a great one. I'm going to start it up here. But the Piguet 185 is part of the series of modern 
Frédéric Piguet chronographs that have really become a classic. This is the design that inspired the Rolex 4130 and the Rolex Daytona. It's an incredibly influential movement. Again, finished to a standard that absolutely gleams. Machined base plate. You can see it even has Cote de Genève on the small bridge of the winding system. The base plate is beautifully finished. This is not simple engine turning. This is artisanal, what they call perlage. It's actually done with a piece of pegwood and emery paste by hand. You can see that the caps of the column wheel, all of the screw heads and the pins are polished to a blinding gleam. The rotor is skeletonized, so even though this is an automatic movement, you don't have the typical obscured view that you see on a lot of highly finished automatic watches. You can actually see most of the movement at any given time and none of it disappoints. The wheels are circular grained. You can see all the bridges have been worked with beveled edges, highly hand polished anglage. It comes across as a true masterpiece of modern watchmaking. So not only is it technically significant as one of those vertical clutch column wheel Piguet chronos, but it's also artistically beautiful. So you're getting a lot of content here. The 50 fathoms and all the heritage that comes with it, its impact on history, its iconic status within the Blanc Palm brand, you're getting all of the Frederic Piguet chronograph content, a historic movement in its own right, feels beautiful in the hand, click, click, start, stop, click, resets, wonderfully crisp. This is high-end watchmaking at its best. And this is an incredibly exclusive watch. Blancpain only makes about 5,000 watches per year, of which the Speed Command Limited Edition was but a drop in the bucket. This is a distinctive watch, a comfortable watch. It sits lightly on the wrist in spite of its size. This is a beautiful leather strap with a rubber-coated, highly supple underside. This watch presents as new, very comfortable, very practical, a ton of fun. If you're looking for the perfect watch for Halloween or an early Christmas present to yourself, you cannot do better than the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Speed Command Flyback Chronograph, available with a full boxed set from WatchYouWant.com. Luxurious in the hand, luxurious to the eye. Check it out. Check out our entire selection of immaculate, exhaustively photographed, pre-owned luxury watches. You just may find the watch you want.